Hey, this is Tyler Skidmore with Fly Rock Chronicles and West Virginia Fly Guys, and on this Fly Tying Friday, we're going to be tying a foam fall caddis. I'm going to start by dressing our hook with 6 aught rusty orange uni thread, and I'm going to wrap all the way to about eh, right where the bend of the hook starts. And I'm going to tie in my small UTC Ultra Wire in gold. I'm going to make sure that it's nice and cinched down to the hook, and then I'm going to wrap back up the fly body here just to keep everything smooth and then back down to my initial tie-in point. Now I'm going to grab some cream-colored dubbing here from Superfly. And I'm going to get about a six-inch dubbing noodle here that's fairly thin. And I'm going to work touching wraps all the way up the hook shank. Once we get our dummy how we like it, I'm gonna come in and I'm just gonna trim some stray fibers. And then I'm gonna counter wrap my wire all the way up and I'm gonna tie it in right where I left my thread. Now I'm gonna reach for my craft foam here that I've cut the butt end to a point. And leaving about a fourth of an inch of foam on the front side here where I tie it in it's going to create a pretty good head for me on the fly. I'm going to pull it up, I'm going to wrap behind it, and that's going to really singe it into place. And then I'm going to reach for my deer hair. My deer hair is a dark brown deer hair. I'm going to grab a pretty decent clump here. Um, the more you tie, the better you'll get at this, but some people say they refer to a pencil, about the diameter of a pencil for your deer hair. That's about how much you need. And I'd say it's about the same for this fly. Now I'm going to give my deer hair a pretty good stacking here after I've stripped all the guard hairs out of it. And once I get it stacked, I'm going to pull these out, check to make sure that all my tips are good, and then I'm going to measure it. And I'm going to measure it to the end of the, uh, not the fly body, but the foam rather. And then I'm going to snip right where my tie-in is with about an eighth of an inch to give. I'm going to tighten down and I'm going to work my way through those hairs. And then I'm going to wrap back up behind the head here. And I'm going to throw in some dubbing and that's going to help prop up the head as well. I'm going to work it up against the head of the fly. And you'll see that leaves it pretty nice and perched up there for us. And I'm gonna whip finish right in front of that and build up a little bit of a head. When I'm happy with my whip finish here, I'm gonna cut my tying thread free. And there's our foam October caddis. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And for more flies like these, go to westvirginiaflyguys.com. Thanks for watching.